Last year, I made a short about how insulin affects fat production in our body. Since it's only 20 seconds, I'll just share it here. Take a look. Let me show you why insulin plays a big role when we try to lose weight. When the carbs come into our blood from eating, insulin grabs it and put it into the cell to make an energy. And when our body noticed there are leftover carbs, insulin comes again, turning into fat. Very easy, right? Today, I'm going to use animation to make it super easy to understand what insulin resistance is and how it can lead to obesity, diabetes, hypertension, and even dementia. By end of this video, it will all be crystal clear. When the glucose levels elevates, the blood becomes sticky. Preventing proper blood flow starts damaging the vessels. To prevent that, our body produce the insulin to reduce the glucose level. So the more carbs you consume, the higher your blood sugar levels will rise. As a result, your body needs to release more insulin to manage those high glucose levels. Then the leftover glucose that isn't used will be converted into fat at higher rate due to the action of insulin. In other words, the more carbohydrate you consume, the more fat synthesis increases naturally your body weight will also gradually increase right let's first look at the cell with normal blood sugar and normal insulin response when insulin receptors are stimulated by insulin glucose channel opens and the necessary amount of glucose enters the cell let's assume that the cell needs four units of glucose now let's look at the cell with the high blood sugar and abnormal insulin response with high blood sugar, a lot of insulin will be secreted, right? So if a large amount of insulin keeps stimulating the insulin receptors, can glucose keep entering the cells? For example, if you get one or two spam calls a week, you might just answer them. But if you get 10 a day, you probably block the numbers, right? Insulin receptors works the same way. Eventually, they become desensitized and block the glucose channel. This state where there is a plenty of insulin, but the cells don't respond to it, it is called insulin resistance. With the channel blocked like this, let's assume only one unit of glucose made into the cell. This means not enough energy will be produced for our body. As a result, there is an abundance of glucose in the blood, but a shortage of glucose inside the cells. It's truly a paradox abundance amidst scarcity. These leftover unused glucose are mostly converted into fat. Let me explain insulin resistance with a simpler picture. If you consume a lot of refined carbs like flour and sugar, insulin production increases significantly. Over time, this leads to cells developing insulin resistance. When this happens, the efficiency of using glucose for energy decreases while the conversion of glucose to fat increases. If the carbs you eat quickly turn into fat, you will always feel tired and hungry no matter how much sugary food you eat. This creates a vicious cycle of excessive carbohydrate consumption. Now, you can understand how increased insulin resistance lead to obesity, diabetes, and fatigue, right? But how is dementia related to this? The brain cells of dementia patients have significantly increased insulin resistance. I mentioned that increased insulin resistance decreased the efficiency of using glucose, right? It's like how a diabetic patient have high blood sugar, but their cells cannot use the glucose properly. Remember back in the days when we studied for finals, we always craved sweets? In order for the brain to function well, it needs to use glucose efficiently. This is why Alzheimer's dementia is sometimes called type 3 diabetes or brain diabetes. The lack of energy in brain cells lead to dementia symptoms. To avoid falling into the trap of insulin resistance, you should reduce the carbohydrate intake as much as possible and focus on healthy, clean meat-based diet. I made a video about dementia here, so please check that video too. A great way to overcome insulin resistance is intermittent fasting. I also have a video about this topic. I'd love for you to watch that too. 
I hope today's video was helpful and remember, health is well, so invest in yourself. This is Dr. Sean making health easy for you. See you next time.